Hello guys, welcome to my channel. From electric planes to technology sensors that can see around corners, there is something for everyone. The future is approaching, and it will arrive sooner than you think. These coming technologies will alter the way we live, how we care for our bodies, and will aid in the prevention of a climate disaster. Human imagination works harder than human enterprise, but scientists and engineers are constantly rethinking future technology, and the environment around us in huge, and tiny ways. We aren't aware of it because we have lived through it, but the rate of advancement during the previous half-century has been abnormal, startling in sectors as diverse as computing, medicine, communications, and materials research. Nonetheless, no one has a personal jetpack that runs on infinite energy, so the development must continue. We put on our futurologist goggles, and compile the list of some of the most interesting future technology that will revolutionize our planet. These are some of the largest of big ideas, ranging from bionic humans to technologies that could solve the climate catastrophe. So join us as we bring to you the top 10 emerging innovations of the future. Before we begin, kindly subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification button below so you don't miss out on amazing videos like this from us. Number 10. Artificial Eyes For decades, bionic eyes have been a staple of science fiction, but real-world research is finally catching up with far-sighted novelists. A slew of new technologies are on the way to market that will help people with various types of vision impairment regain their sight. In January 2021, Israeli surgeons inserted the world's first artificial cornea into a 78-year-old man who was born blind on both sides. When his bandages were removed, the patient was able to immediately read and recognize family members. The implant also fuses naturally to human tissue without being rejected by the recipient's body. Similarly, Belgian scientists developed an artificial iris that may be attached to smart contact lenses to correct a variety of eye impairments in 2020. Scientists are even working on wireless brain implants that do not require the use of the eyes. Montash University in Australia is conducting testing for a system in which users wear a pair of glasses equipped with a camera. This directly delivers data to the implant, which lies on the surface of the brain and provides the user with a basic sense of sight. Number 9. Green Funerals Individuals confronted with the realities of the climate crisis are prioritizing sustainable living, but what about eco-friendly dying? Death is typically a carbon-intensive process, leaving us with one last imprint on the environment. According to reports, the average cremation emits 400 kilograms of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So, what's a more environmentally friendly option? You could be composted instead in Washington State, USA. Bodies are placed in chambers filled with bark, soil, straw, and other natural decomposers. Your body is reduced to soil in 30 days and can be restored to a garden or woodland. The company behind the procedure, Recompose, claims it consumes one-eighth of the carbon dioxide produced by cremation. Fungi are used in an alternative technology. Luke Perry, the late actor, was buried in a bespoke mushroom suit developed by a startup named Coeo in 2019. The company claims that its suit, which is built with mushrooms and other microbes, aids decomposition and neutralizes poisons released when a person decays. Most alternative methods of disposing of human bodies after death are not based on new technology, they are simply awaiting societal acceptability. Another example is alkaline hydrolysis, which entails breaking down the body into its chemical components in a pressured chamber over a six-hour period. It is permitted in a number of U.S. jurisdictions, and produces fewer emissions than more traditional methods. Number 8. Sweat-Powered Smartwatches The gadget functions by coating polyester cellulose cloth, in a thin layer of a polymer that serves as the supercapacitor's electrode. Engineers at the University of Glasgow have created a novel form of flexible supercapacitor that stores energy by using sweat instead of the electrolytes used in traditional batteries. It may be completely charged with as little as 20 microliters of fluid and is strong enough to withstand 4,000 cycles of the various flexes and bends that it may encounter in usage. Conventional batteries are cheaper and more available than ever before, explains Professor Ravinder Daya, head of the Bendable Electronics and Sensing Technologies, BEST, group. This makes them difficult to dispose of responsibly and possibly dangerous in wearable devices, where a broken battery could spill poisonous contents on skin. We were able to demonstrate for the first time that human perspiration gives a real opportunity to completely eliminate those hazardous elements while also providing great charging and discharging performance. As the cloth absorbs the sweat of its wearer, the positive and negative ions in the sweat interact with the surface of the polymer, 
causing an electrochemical reaction that generates energy. Number 7. Self-driving trucks. Before we've even seen one on the road, we've almost become accustomed to the concept of driverless automobiles. The truth is that we may see a lot more driverless trucks in the future, after all, logistics make the world go round. They'll be less expensive to operate than standard rigs since they'll drive more smoothly, and hence use less fuel. Because computers never weary or require rest, they can take longer journeys. They might also travel in convoys, nose to tail, to reduce wind resistance. Companies such as Mercedes and Peloton are currently investigating these options, and if the anticipated gains materialize, freight companies might upgrade entire fleets overnight. On the flip side, it may immediately put drivers out of employment, as well as personnel at truck stops set up to repair them but several corporations have stated that the vehicles will still require a human passenger to assure the safety of their cargo. Number 6. Living Robots Tiny hybrid robots made using stem cells from frog embryos could one day be used to swim around human bodies to specific areas requiring medicine, or to gather microplastic in the oceans. These are novel living machines, said Joshua Bongart, a computer scientist and robotics expert at the University of Vermont who co-developed the millimeter-wide bots, known as xenobots. They're neither a traditional robot nor a known species of animal. It's a new class of artifact, a living, programmable organism. Number 5. Tactile Virtual Reality Northwestern University researchers have created a prototype device that tries to bring touch into the realm of virtual reality by employing a flexible polymer with tiny vibrating components that can be bonded to skin. The technique, known as epidermal VR, could also be useful in other situations, such as when a toddler touches a display, and the gesture is relayed to a family member stationed away, or when assisting patients with amputations regain their sense of touch. In gaming, it could notify players when a strike occurs on the game character's relevant bodily component. The team's invention incorporates 32 vibrating actuators on a tiny 15 cm by 15 cm silicone polymer, that adheres to the skin without the use of tape or straps, and is devoid of big batteries and wires. It transfers data via near-field communication, NFC, technology, which is currently employed in many smartphones for mobile payment. Scientists believe that the technology may ultimately make its way into clothing, allowing people with prosthetics to wear virtual reality shirts that express touch through their fingertips. Number 4. Internet for Everyone We can't seem to live without it, although only around half of the world's population is online. There are numerous reasons for this, including economic and societal factors, but for some, the internet is just inaccessible due to a lack of connectivity. Google is gradually attempting to fix the problem by using helium balloons to beam internet to inaccessible locations, while Facebook has abandoned ambitions to do the same using drones, allowing startups like Hybrid to steal a march. They've taken a different route, launching their own network of shoebox-sized microsatellites into low Earth orbit, which wake up a modem linked into your computer or gadget when it passes overhead, and transfers your data. Their satellites orbit the Earth 16 times per day, and are already utilized by organizations such as the British Antarctic Survey to deliver internet connection to the most remote parts of our world. Number 3. Heart Monitoring T-Shirt Wearable sports bands that measure your heart rate aren't new, but as multiple studies have demonstrated, accuracy can vary greatly, especially if you rely on them to count calories. In general, that's okay if you just want to know how hard you're working out, but accuracy is crucial for professionals. This revolutionary t-shirt from smart material startup Chimera will precisely measure heartbeats, and send them to the cloud over Bluetooth using a single lead ECG printed into the fabric. Once there, algorithms process the data to detect irregular heartbeats such as arrhythmia heartbeats, which could save a life. And it's not just athletes who stand to gain. The opportunities this product provides for both athletes, and the general public are astounding, says Tim Brownstone, CEO and founder of Chimera. We intend to develop this device for clinical applications in order to provide patients who already have heart issues with adequate notice of a heart attack. Number 2. Floating Farms According to the UN, there will be 2 billion more people on the planet by 2050, resulting in a 70% increase in food demand. By that time, 80% of us will be living in cities, and the majority of the food we eat in cities will be imported. So farms moored on the sea or in inland lakes near cities would undoubtedly minimize food miles. But how would they function? Forward-thinking architectures Javier Ponce designed a 24 meters tall, three-tiered building with solar panels on top to supply energy. 
The middle stage grows a variety of vegetables on an area of 51,000 meters square utilizing liquid nutrients rather than soil. These nutrients and plant stuff would fall to the lowest layer, where they would nourish fish raised in an enclosed environment. Number 1. The AI Scientist. If you cut off a flatworm's head, it will regrow a new one. If you cut it in half, you'll get two new worms. It will fix itself if you shoot some radiation at it. For a long time, scientists have wanted to figure out the mechanics involved, but the secret has evaded them. The computer was able to unravel the puzzle of the flatworm's regeneration in 42 hours by studying and simulating innumerable possibilities. Finally, it built a detailed model of how the flatworm's genes allow it to regenerate. Although humans must still provide knowledge to the AI, the machine in this experiment was able to generate a new, abstract theory on its own, a significant step toward the development of a conscious computer, and potentially a watershed moment in the way we conduct research. That's it for today folks, hope you enjoyed the video, and can't wait to get more videos from us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and smash the notification bell and you will never miss a video like this from us. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.